Hey again guys, I'm just bringing you another quick deck profile here. Uh, this one's my Burning Abyss deck, which I've taken uh, recently to an LLDS, made top 8 there, um, and also took it to locals just yesterday, and managed to win that, went undefeated. So, uh, yeah, let's just dive straight in. I said Burning Abyss, and so we've got 3 graph. Sorry, there's a bit of glare. Three seer and three scam. So just playing obviously three each of those guys. Um, they're pretty good. So we've got some one ofs. Uh, we've got a bar bar because why not? Uh, we've got a Libic, we've got a Drahig, got a Farfa and a Rubik. I uh, did burn somebody for a game with that one as well. Uh, well, a couple of people I think. Uh, one to a guide, two maxi, and two blackjack. Uh, this card really underrated. Um, <clears throat> I would like to change the deck slightly and play three of this and more normal traps, but um, that's something to test out later date. Because uh, I'm currently, as you've probably seen in, in my other deck profile, where I'm playing Cosmo at the minute and just a bit of fun. Um, so I've got two dark holes. Uh, this is in a different sleeve, it's in the Cosmo deck. And one Regeki, same reason. Um, these, because board wipes are always great for pushing for game, and Dark Hole doesn't overly bother you because if you kill some of your guys, then it doesn't really matter because they get effects in it. It still goes off. And uh, Foolish Burial or Practically Monster Reborn. Or anything, you know. It's practically Special Summon something. So, onto the traps, play three Fiend Griefing. Um, this card is absolutely amazing. Um, we never play anything less than three. Uh, against some decks where there's not really a lot in the graveyard, then you know you can take one out. So I'm trying to get it so there's no glare. Um, I'm going to play two Fire Lake and two Traveller. All the burn the base cards you really need. You can stack them when you need to. You can um, recycle them with Dante's and whatnot if you mill them. So you don't really need more than more than two of each. I mean, like I said, I do want to try three Traveller, three Blackjack at some point, but we'll get around to that eventually. Uh, two Breakthroughs, two Mind Crush. Um, this, yesterday wasn't as good, mainly because I was the one time, I think one of the one times I used it, I called the wrong thing because I was an idiot, essentially. But otherwise, it's really strong against the better still, so. Uh, two Karma Cut. Get them there because we play a Raigeki Break and a Wing Blast as well. And it's nice to have a little bit of variety. This is really good if you can sort of out some of the um, bigger things, especially with, like for decks that cycle through them. If you can Karma Cut it, it can really set them back. Raigeki Break is just good for clearing back row. And Wing Blast is good for just putting someone back a turn. So you can obviously, when you're side decking, you can change them in and out depending on what you're up against. But, Play one Torrential, one Solemn, one Skill Drain. This this card like wins games and one on it is like against playing Quasar in the uh, the semis, the top four, and this this single handedly stopped him doing everything I wanted again. So because he didn't draw any else to it, and then when he did, it let me just I just went off and killed him. Uh, extra deck, obviously three Dante's. And three down magicians. This came up once. Uh, how horrible that one is, but this came up once. I actually summoned all three down to uh, three downwards, um, and it was pretty good. One acid golem, one nightmare shark, one leviathan dragon, um, one giga brilliant, one a la card, one mech whipped, and one zen mains. Um, outside of the dantes, the only cards that I have made really, I made this. And it lost me a game. Um, I made this to pop a back row, and that's it. Uh, yeah, that's it. I, know, I may have made this once actually, but I can't remember. Maybe I saw somebody make that, I don't know. Uh, one Utopic Future. Um, haven't yet summoned it, but the theory behind this is really good. So I almost summoned it, um, but I didn't need to in the end because I think I topped Regeki, which was ridiculous, and one Virgil, because it's the one Rubik. 
Um, I'm not really going to show the side deck because it changes all the time. Um, but yeah, so that's the deck profile. Tell me what you think. Leave any comments down below. And uh, catch you all later. Thanks for watching. Bye.